What's up YouTube? This is Bait here with another black and white bell and it has been a while but I've been pretty much busy with school with the exams and stuff but uh, now I'm back with another match and this time against uh, some dude by the name of Paco. I didn't get his YouTube account because uh, it was the live stream and this was actually the first battle I had my live stream. I've been pretty much posting this in a random order but this one is the last so next time you will be seeing uh, fresh new battles but, but uh, anyways this was a pretty good match a really long one but uh, let's just go into it he g leads off with Rotom except not really it's a Zoroark and I'm just gonna set up my rocks cause they're gonna help me against his uh, real Rotom the heat form and uh, now I'm gonna withdraw and go into Burungeru I don't know why <laughs> I really don't but I do have the max special de defense but uh, I still doubt that I could have taken a stab night burst. But anyways, that's be besides the point because he's gonna withdraw with a U-turn and go into his Cobalion. So anyways, he's gonna set up a substitute which is like okay and uh, I'm gonna go with the boiling water. I wasn't really scared because I resist his uh, bold stab moves and I, I'm especially I'm immune to his uh, close combat so I don't really fear this thing at all so I'm just gonna stay in and he's gonna actually T-wave me which is like uh, it doesn't really matter cuz uh, I'd rather have this thing uh, paralyzed than uh, toxic or something like that and uh, this thing is slow already the parahax might screw me over like it does here but uh, it didn't really matter he goes into his Leafeon and uh, I'm gonna withdraw now Go into my Natore because uh, I should be able to wall him completely and, and it turns out that he has heal bell which is pretty cool. Leafeon overall, it's a great poke. I used to use it in my underused battles a lot because it's a great physical wall. That's like one uh, base 130 defense so it's pretty good. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna predict the switch here and go with the lead seed as he switches into his uh, Cobalion. So that's pretty good, he won't be doing his uh, substitute shenanigans on me now. Because he's gonna be losing way too much health by that way. So anyways, he's gonna withdraw and go into his Latios, and I think I also switch, yes, I go back into my Burungeru. Or whatever jellicent this thing is called. It is Burungeru to me! Anyways, he's gonna go with the Calm Mind actually. I was actually fearing the HP fire for a second, but then I see the Calm Mind, so I'm like, hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna toxic that thing, cause it's gonna be uh, pretty much the uh, dead Latios, and it can't really do much to my uh, Burungeru. So, uh, go with the Boiling Water, do a bit of damage, cause, uh, I don't know, all damage is always good. And uh, now I kinda make a risky play, but uh, I predict the Calm Mind, so I go into my. Uh, Glide score, except not really, because it is a Zoroark in disguise. And he actually has three Calm Minds up, so I do not want to go with the Night Burst. So instead, I'm gonna go with the Trickery, I think it's now called Full Play. Uh, and that is actually like base 90 or something, a uh, dark type physical move, and it actually uses the opponent opponent's attack stat instead of your own, so it's pretty interesting move. Uh, because Latios uh, doesn't have the greatest attack stat, it doesn't do that much, but it is a 3 hit KO. So I'm okay with that, and he's actually going to use uh, Rest, which is uh, like really strange on um, Latios that really could uh, just uh, sweep and uh, yeah, use recover instead, and it doesn't really enjoy those rest turns because it is a really offensive sweeper. But anyways, I'm I'm actually scarfed, so I have to go with the trickery again, and I just want to KO that uh, Latios. So uh, I go with that again, but he goes into his uh, Cobalion and takes the Justice Hard Hard ability, and uh, now he actually makes a double switch and goes into his Arcanine. I don't really know why, because he's gonna take a lot of Stealth Rock damage, and now he's gonna withdraw again because I switched into my Burungeru, and I was fearing that he might have the Wild Bolt because that's what the cool kids run, so I switch into my Don Fan, but uh, he makes a double switch and goes back into his Leafeon, so I'm forced to switch out again, and I go into my uh, Natore here. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, I think I just go with the Spikes this time because I was also thinking he might predict my. Uh, uh, 
my uh, lead seed again, but he doesn't. But uh, at least I get a free layer of spikes, and this Cobalion doesn't uh, really threaten me because I have my I have my Burungeru over here for the fifth time, and he can't really do anything to me. So he is going to set up a sub, and he's gonna go with the Stone Edge, but uh, it it does miss, but it's a Stone Edge, yeah. But it wouldn't have done really anything anyway, so it, di it didn't really matter. And uh, he's gonna go, go with that again, and it, yeah, you guys can see the damage, it does nothing. And I'm gonna set up a Acid Armor and make his life miserable. Now he can't really do anything to me, so he's gonna be forced to switch out, and he's gonna go back into his... Uh, Rotom. No wait, it's a Zorark, uh, like you can see from the Stealth Rock damage. I was actually on the stream, I wasn't sure which one this was, so I asked the people at the stream and then they told that uh, it did take some spikes damage, so it's obviously a Zorark. So I go into my own Zorark here to take the Night Burst, but uh, he's gonna get a accuracy drop. And at this point I was like, will Flame Drower kill? And Zorark doesn't really have the best uh, special defense, so it will kill. But I miss, and then he's gonna hit his own because he doesn't have any accuracy drops, and that will KO my Zorak. So that was just that was just trolling right there. That was that was just pure shenanigans. So, anyways, I go into my Don Fan now and just revenge kill him with a eye shot, get a crit because I was really angry. But uh, yeah, down goes the Zorak, and it really sucks that I lost my own Zorak because that was my best counter slash check to his uh, Latios, but we'll see how it, uh, will I be able to get over that, but uh, yeah, I go into my Burungeru now, predicting the uh, obvious overheat, and that's what he does, and uh, I, I don't know, I think I go with the boiling water now, or something, yes I do, and he's gonna go into his Leafeon, and do I get the burn, yes I do again, which is okay, didn't really matter because he has the heal bell anyway, so... But residual damage is always good, good. and uh, here I get Parahax, which kind of sucks because he probably would have died uh, after the burn damage, uh, or at least especially after the second, uh, second uh, boiling water here, but uh, I get Parahax again twice in a row, but then again he most likely would have just uh, protected, so... Whatever, hacks is, hacks is hacks, it always happens. And yeah, I'm gonna withdraw, go into my Natore again, cause, um, yeah, like you guys already saw, I can wall him completely, so why not uh, switch in Natore? Natore is such a great Pokemon, one of my favorites in Gen 5 when it comes to walls. It's awesome, great unique typing and great move pool also. Many people hate it cause it's so common, but uh, yeah, whatever. I actually have a really cool battle coming off with uh, against the Natore, where I really fucked that Natore up. But uh, anyways, he makes a great prediction and goes with the uh, trick, gives me choice scarf, or it was more like a safe play. But anyways, it was a good play because now my Burungeru is crippled, it's paralyzed, and it has a choice scarf. But anyways, I'm gonna lock myself into Toxic because nothing on his team really appreciates it, and uh, I can force his uh, Leafeon to use Heal Bell heal bell that way too, so yeah, not too big of a problem. So anyways, he's gonna start setting up on me again, which is bad, because now I don't have my Zoroark anymore, so I go into my Don Fan, go with the eye shot, really hoping that this would be enough, but uh, it, it doesn't really come, not even close, and he's gonna use rest and get back to full health, but uh, he still has a couple of uh, rest turns, so that's okay. So I'm gonna use eye shot again. Not really know what, <laughs> don't really know why, but at this point I, I was just really scared because uh, I lost my solo arc, so I don't really know what I should do against this thing. So, anyways, I'm gonna withdraw now. Go into my Natore because Don Fan isn't doing anything, and now he's gonna wake up, and then he has the hidden power of fire after all, which is like r really random. He has the rest. Calm mind, and then he has to hit him power fire, which doesn't really make much sense. It's much more useful on a choice set rather than on a calm minder who wants to set up and have the best cover is to like sweep when you manage to set up. But uh, I don't know, it works out for him. 
And then I'm gonna protect because I was thinking he would he, he would just finish me off. But it is not the case because he's gonna withdraw and go into his uh, Cobalion again, which is okay because in comes Burungeru for the fifth time again, and he's gonna wall him to oblivion. There is nothing he can do to me except he's going to crit me with a Stone Edge, but it still does nothing, and I pay him back with a uh, Cursed Body Hack, so. No, his only move that he can do some damage to me is now uh, disabled, so that's good times. And he's gonna withdraw again, go into his Leafion as I... Uh, do I go with the Boiling Water? Yes, I do. And do I get the burn again? Yes, I do. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Lots of uh, burn hacks going on over here. But yeah, didn't really make too big of a difference. But now he's gonna go with the Leaf Blade and... Uh, He's gonna get a crit, but uh, didn't matter, I had like five other pokes to take it, and then I pay him back again with a cursed body. So now, if ever, it's time to re reveal my main sweeper of this team, which is my Gallade. And by the way, I was not able to use my Gliscor on this match, because he uh, has the old patch that uh, makes him uh, like flinch the game if I have the Toxic Orb. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna set up a sub, and then he's gonna protect with his Excellent, because I'm gonna set up a Bulgop. This is my good old substitute Bulgop Gallade. And uh, now his uh, Leafion is burned, and his only attack, Leaf Blade, is disabled. So there is nothing he can do to stop me from setting up. He really should have just uh, switch away, but I guess he was thinking I would be like a sub puncher or something. But, anyways, I go with my uh, second Bulgop here, and I think he just used Wish again. And he thought that he could just swallow me, but that is not the case, because I'm going to be able to set up those uh, bullgobs. And now, finally, he gets his uh, leaf play back, but uh, it is pretty much too late, because I can just uh, take, his <laughs> take his hits now, because I have so many bull. I think I have, like, three by now or something. I wasn't really paying attention on counting, but... Uh, yeah, he's gonna hit me with Leaf Blade again, I guess. At this point, he's just hoping for the crit. But so far, it hasn't happened, and uh, I get my Bulgum number, number 4, I think. <laughs> this is just really crazy, and I I really don't know why he didn't use Heal Bell first, because that would have given back his attack stat. But, uh, yeah, I, d I don't know. So finally, after hitting me like four times or something, my substitute finally breaks. And, uh, but still this is going in my favor, he's still burned, so even if he gets a crit, it shouldn't be doing too much. I think, I think burn still counts when you're, when you get a critical hit. It still cuts your attack, you get the, double the amount of damage, but it still gets cut in half by the, uh, burn. I'm not sure, somebody leave a comment, but anyways, now I have five bullgobs, so I'm gonna finish this thing off with a drain punch and get all of my HP back, so it's really like looking uh, Gallade Sweep. So he goes into his Rotom, but uh, I say no to that, so I'm gonna go with the Shadow Sneak. I have the pa uh, perfect uh, coverage slash priority going on here, and he's gonna go into his Latios now, and that's gonna get wrecked by a plus five, s uh, not stab, plus five Adamant Shadow Sneak. And he dies. And he goes into his Gobellion, and uh, he gets raped by the entry assets. And I'm just gonna use Shadow Sneak. Not sure though if he's. Yeah, it's not gonna take him out. But, uh. Didn't really matter what I did, because uh, now I will get off my second hit. And he's gonna go with the Stone Edge. I guess he was just hoping for a crit. Uh, but it doesn't happen, man. My sub doesn't break. And I'm gonna be able to finish him off, which is nice. And now his last guy is the, uh. Arcanine gets raped by the entry asset. Doesn't really matter because I have plus five anyway, so uh, any other residual damage doesn't matter because I'm gonna train punch to the face and that will be the game. And my sub still didn't break even off the extreme speed, but yeah, that will be the game. So, good game, Paco. It was a fun match, pretty long one because uh, I think it was something like uh, 60 turns, at least close to 60 turns when I recorded this. Maybe 64 or something, and uh, it was really going on for a long time, and neither of neither of us uh, could really do anything to each other. But uh, then uh, Galate just came in and uh, wrecked house. So uh, 
I really hope you guys enjoyed. So uh, if you did, please leave a like rating, and uh, I will actually leave a link to an old battle because uh, I remember I used this Galade long time ago in Gen 4 with the same exact set with Drain Punch when it still sucked in uh, in Gen 4. But uh, I tried it out anyways, and uh, it worked out pretty decently. Although the Drain Punch didn't really have much power back then. But uh, it was a pretty good match, so I will actually leave a link. So if you're interested, uh, go watch that old Gen 4 battle. I sound a bit different in that one, because, yeah, long time ago. But yeah, that was good times. And uh, next time I'll probably see you guys with a new fresh battle. Uh, that will be recorded from the uh, new English version, not this old English patch. But yeah, that is all for today. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Spade is out. Peace.